Hey guys, welcome back to our Let's Play, Dragon Age 2. Um, I have completely forgotten about something. Uh, well, hello lag. Hello. Hello, hello. Hola, lag. You know how I feel about you. Didn't see that. I have just learned of a new store. Apparently... What was that about, Hawk? What, what you losing your goddamn mind? <laughs> anyway. I learned about a new store that I have completely forgot about. Uh huh. Apparently, the Forbidden Imports. Feel free to browse my wares. The profits help Ferelden refugees here and at home. Uh huh. I would like to buy something. Vein. See. There is some stuff here. Tear of Ferelden. Uh, let's see, let us compare. Wow, this ring's significantly better, but... Uh, maybe not. Nothing. Armor struts. There we are. Tear of Ferelden. Mm. Uh, mm. Some of these weapons are good. So, yeah. Um, now I've Now the reason why I found that store, Noah, because they're bound to have something. Anyway, you know, some thoughts have crept into my mind about certain things, like for example. How did, you know, like, some weird thoughts have crept into my mind as of recently. How does, or how would the world be without string? Uh, uh, no. no, don't go anywhere. Leandra, dead. I, I can't believe it. That is what you wanted, you little bastard. Sorry, you're not a bastard. You're a jerk. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, think about it. How far would humanity have gotten without string? No string. Well, let's take a look at some of the things that create, you know, that string helps create. No. Wires, so modern technology. This video wouldn't exist without string. In case you're wondering, wait, what? Wires are a type of string, a metal string that is long, connected, and thin. Okay. <sighs> um, and in fact, I wouldn't actually be here. Because there wouldn't be, because there's, no, because of 
because no string means no rope, and no rope means, well, just that. Means a lot of things would not have happened. <sighs> so, yeah. Um. That means Columbus would have never. In fact, sailing would have never happened. Thermopylae probably would never have happened. The Battle of the Straits near Th uh, Thermopylae would have never have happened because there would have been no triremes. Hmm. So, yeah, actually, yeah, it turns out a lot of things depend on string. Without string, there's technically no clothing, so we'd all be wearing animal hides. We'd still we probably would still be wielding the hand axe if some if nobody ever developed string. Actually, no, we couldn't even wear leather there because leather requires string. <laughs> to keep it, you know, taut. Otherwise, it shrinks and, you know, weird things happen. Uh, yeah, so, I'm sorry, I was giving such a weird lecture on the positives of string in this production in human society, which is, I'm gonna say, hilarious. Yes, yes, captivated by string. So... Foreshadowing. Swords. Anyway, I'm gonna. Okay. There's something I need to do really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry, I had to make sure I had all the appropriate armor for all my characters. And yeah, they all have their appropriate armor. Well, let's go speak with, uh. Dumar. Viscount Dumar. I wonder, is that his last name or his first name? Uh, well, maybe his family doesn't have it, any name. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. What? It is my son, Seamus. Yeah, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Canari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. This will get ugly. Oh, uh, no. It's not his choice. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way, but in my position... He's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Canari hands. Hmm. At worst, I lose my son. I, I, I can see where he's going at. You know, He wants his son to be knowledgeable of the world, but he doesn't want to lose him. He wants to be in contact with him, and I think Dumar might know a little bit more about Kunari culture than he lets on. He knows that once he leaves this family, he joins another family, and I don't know. They accept humans? Wow, game, why are you laughing? The Airshock says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions. I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. Uh, does anyone else know? Did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? 
He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. Uh. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Ahawk. And... this will get ugly. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. Okay. Okay. Okay, Your Highness. I can understand where Dumar is coming from, you know. He, he wants to make sure that his son... Did I ever open the chest that was in here? Yeah, I did. The one true pendulums. <laughs> so yeah, you know, he he wants to make sure that his son knows everything that's going on. But yeah, this is. Uh, mercenaries. Here. Right, there's the target. They don't reach the compound. Watch your step. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want us. Oh, that's interesting. Not really. Somebody clearly doesn't want us to go get Seamus. Because... So who hired that lot? Anti-Canari? Anti-Viscount? Or Seamus himself? Not wanting to be rescued. Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. Seamus is a good boy. He, he doesn't want... As far as I can tell, Seamus wants better political relations with the Kunari, which I'm okay with. You know, you want you want people to be connected to the Kunari. <clears throat> I know is he you don't wanna be here, so I won't force you to come. All are forbidden, except you, for now. Well, hope the Arishok hasn't grown attached to the Viscounts. Yeah. Sirrah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. Well, it's because you're different. But despite lies and fear, Baz still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. There's nothing wrong with The that. son has made a choice. Mm -hmm. You will not deny him that. Huh. An obvious political maneuver. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. Where is he? He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. Can you clarify? That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. The Viscount would involve the Chantry? No. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. Yes. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Well, 
Let's not be hasty. Let's not be hasty. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I just can't think of it right now. Her intent is obvious, and what the Kuhn demands is clear. This is the last insult I intend to suffer. Resolve this, or her hiding place will be reduced to rubble. I will be watching, Hawk. You know, as giant as these guys are... <laughs> they are fantastic spies. <laughs> Seriously. You don't know that they're watching. But then again, people are gonna notice giant giants coated in red paint. By the way, the reason why they wear that red paint is that is armor. It hardens their skin to, I think, the same tensile strength. It's toxic, too, to anybody else. Oh, no. This is gonna suck. Yep. Seamus? Well, such a bright young lad. Sh oh. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. Okay, this is a perfect you did this. Are you mad? Your plans have fallen to outright murder? The faithful know this has been building for a long time. Where Vonnell incited, I reminded, in sermon and prayer. Great. When people learn of this attack, they will rise. Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority. You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter on both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Okay, you Earn die. your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die. Sorry, um... Sister. Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. Patrice is responsible. The young mother arranged all of it. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Ooh. Viscount Dumas's son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Kunari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. Lured by you. You killed him, so no one would follow his free choice, right or wrong. It could not be allowed. How many would be tempted? As many as would want to go, I suppose. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sirrah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? Yes. The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. 
Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? You're no longer part of the Chantry, bitch. And... Oh! Wow. I'm surprised there was only one arrow. Uh. Really? Ooh. Hey. She was gonna go... We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. You have to respect law there, dude. Uh. Please. Send for Viscount Dumas. We'll do so, uh, Grand Claire. The one responsible is dead, but... My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? The city needs you strong. This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. This is another one of those instances where I feel... Yeah, I don't, really don't want the loot here. I want to let Viscount Dumar mourn his son. Yeah. To catch a thief. Yeah. Okay. Izzy wants to talk An to end of sorts. But the Canari and the Chantry and the Viscount's dead son won't simply fade from memory. About that, uh, Hawk, there's something I need to tell you, at your house, very, very soon. There's always something to look forward to. Yep, always something. Luckily we're here. Hopefully it just doesn't, you know, spit me out to that spot. And it does. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems, too. Ha! <laughs> what drink should I order, and who's the father? Oh, you little... What is it now, you two? Uh... Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die! There. Got your attention. Real problem. One at a time. Hold on. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. Great. If you help me get it, Castion won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. Okay. I'm going to end it here, but... Well, maybe not. I'll just cut out a bunch of the other stuff that happened earlier. Uh, <clears throat> we'll help us spell Izzy first. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Yes. Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Oh, man. 
Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think he planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short, but nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? Well, technically, there yeah. are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. Well... Uh... I'm... Yeah. So, we'll end it here. I will see you guys next time. Have fun.